under the hood of Creta, only timeless classics. Inline gasoline, 4s, Gamma, 1.6L, and new, 2L, have a variable valve timing system, but otherwise simple to the point of primitiveness. They have no supercharging, the injection is the usual distributed one, they feed on the 90-second fuel without problems. In a word, they are potentially reliable and liquid in the secondary market. Our people love this. Here are just the promised 123 and 149 horsepower, accordingly, they live in these engines high, high, under the red zone of the tachometer. And the maximum thrust settled only one floor below. And on the bottoms and in the middle, empty. In a traffic jam and with uniform movement, it is tolerable, but when overtaking, the lack of elasticity frightens and annoys. Creta 1.6, when ahead, makes it go down as much as two or three gears, and still it's hard to believe in 12.3 s to 100 km h. The 2-liter version with an automatic is more dynamic, 11.3 s to hundreds, but its fuel consumption is immodest, 10.4 l slash 100 km in highway mode. This is according to the onboard computer, but in fact, even more. For example, a 55-liter tank was enough for us for 300 kilometers from Barnaul Airport to the suburbs of Gorno Altiusk, though taking into account overtaking trucks and three people in the cabin with luggage. We did not make exact measurements, but the approximate 12 to 13 liters is a lot. Hence the conclusion, a high-torque and economical turbo diesel would suit the Crete, and versions for other markets have such, but the Russian office is not sure of the need for such a modification. Even at Tucson, only every tenth buyer chooses an expensive diesel engine, and the budgetary Creta will probably have an even smaller share of diesel. But if demand appears, it will not be a matter of expanding the line, they assure Hyundai. The illusion of cheerfulness Cretes, creates an overly sensitive accelerator drive. Just touch the pedal, the car jumps forward. You think, now I'll press harder, so the crossover will generally fly. But no, the first impulse is quickly replaced by apathy. And if the version on the handle just turns sour, then the quirks of the gas drive make the automatic transmission fussily select the step so that the Creta does not turn into a vegetable. Transmission. At the same time, the boxes themselves are worthy of praise. Hyundai has allocated only modern six-speed units for the small crossover. Although the mechanics do not shine with short stroke, the lever moves almost effortlessly and immediately hits the right place. The automatic, when not jumping through gears, is even better, it is logical and comfortable. Formally, Creta complied with all the rules of the crossover format. There is an optional all-wheel drive, a center clutch lock button, a hill descent assistance system, an imitation of wheel locks. In addition, bumpers and thresholds hang high, you won't catch it, and nothing sticks out under the bottom. But under the proprietary, dealer option, steel protection of the engine compartment, we measured only 18 centimeters with the stated 19 centimeters within the wheelbase, or both the all-wheel drive version and the front-wheel drive version. So you don't really crawl along the track, and in the snow you have to be more careful. Plus, sharp gas interferes, it is difficult to dose traction, it is easy to provoke slippage. So long. Only one thing reminds of the budgetary nature of the crossover inside the Crete, or rather the sound, creaking on bumps. Hard plastic everywhere, even though it does not add solidity especially in this segment, such a finish is in the order of things, but with ergonomics, the Creta is in perfect order. Landing, visibility, no questions asked, angular external forms make it easier to get used to the dimensions, and the high seat, even in the lower position, lifts you above the surrounding stream, for which many people appreciate crossovers. In small things, it seems to be good too. The instrument cluster reads perfectly, large buttons are located where necessary, there are necessary options and in the highest configuration comfort, from 959,900 rubles, the steering wheel is adjustable for reach. Against this German background, regular chairs look strange, a good profile, but with a rather narrow back. If you are not a fighting, you will clearly feel the rigidity of the side rollers. Plus, annoying blue backlighting of the keys and a modest multimedia display, which makes it difficult to see the picture from the rear view camera. Well, by tradition, only the driver's window is equipped with automatic mode. How long? Hyundai calls Creed almost the most spacious crossover in the compact segment. We have yet to verify the veracity of such a statement in the course of comparative tests, but, at first glance, the Koreans do not lie. Inside, the novelty is really spacious, 
which pleases, even on the second row and even tall people. That's just what the amenities in the rear seats are scarce. There is a two-stage heating, included in the winter package for 25,000 rubles, ceiling light and coat hooks, but you can't dream of central air ducts or, for example, an additional outlet. 